welcome back to my channel where I make videos about tech, unboxing, and events. And for today's video, it's gonna be another study with me, study session, studying Python. So if you're studying Python and interested in learning, please keep on watching and without further ado, let's get started with the video. So today is January 1st, 2021, Sunday, and my second week of studying Python. So today I'm going to give you an update of what I have learned so far from the past week of studying and what I am going to be learning and studying today as well. So for my studies, I have enrolled in an online course in udemy.com, which is called 2021 Complete Python Bootcamp from Zero to Hero in Python. And if you want to check it out, I really highly recommend this course. So if you are studying Python or planning to study Python, I really highly recommend this course. You can check it out because it is really packed with a lot of information and a lot of practice coding, practice problems, and even project milestone projects on practicing your Python skills. So I really, really highly recommend this course. It is really from beginner and also gives you advanced topics if you want to learn some more. And also to supplement my online studying, I also read this book called Beginning Python from Novice to Professional. I highly recommend you to use more than one resource when studying and not just stick to one resource like if you're studying online, you can also read like books and PDFs and if you're reading books, you can also supplement it by taking some online courses as well because it's really not enough to just go with one resource if you are studying. So I think that is really also effective. So, from the past week, I have been focusing on reading the chapters on my book starting from the basics because I have some struggles on some topics and concepts like dictionaries and tuples because I didn't understand what we use it for. So, I really wanted to dig deeper into it and have more explanation until I really fully understand the concept. So, just an update on what I have learned last week. I have read about the basics of Python, how to install it, how to run programs that execute and save your Python scripts. Then I have learned about listen to tuples, strings, dictionaries, conditional loops, and statements, and a little bit about functions. I was doing some exercises on functions, and when I was reading the book, I really learned more explanation and details and methods that wasn't on my online course such as advanced sorting because I just did the regular sorting from the highest to from the lowest to the highest most of the time in the online course but I also learned about sorting by length and sorting in reverse for a list. I've also learned that you can do several different assignments simultaneously so if you want to assign more variables you can do it simultaneously or all at once i also learned about the zip function this is used if you have more than one list that you want to iterate into and it's easier to use than using a manual for loop for this so for example Okay, so today I will be reading my book first and study the chapters about abstraction where I would learn about functions, parameters, scoping, and what recursion is before I go back to my online course because the next chapter would be doing a milestone project and I don't think I'm ready for that yet because I really wanted to have a solid understanding on of the functions and methods first before I do a project because I don't, I don't just want to copy and paste the solutions because the solutions are provided anyway so I really wanted to come up with my own code for that so as much as possible I want to learn more before doing projects so let's do the studying now and I will update you later on what I have finished <music>
So what I'm reading now is about collecting parameters because this chapter is about functions. So it's showing me how to allow to collect as many parameters as the user wants. So here it is, you have to put asterisk before the parameter. And now I am just testing it on my Jupyter Notebook to understand it more if I see it hands-on and what it's doing. So it's kind of confusing when you are just learning it because I have to read it over and over again so I could get it and I have to go through the examples one by one and really code it in Jupyter Notebook to see what the results are. If I change something, what the results will be. So now I am getting it because I have been through it again and it makes more sense now but you really need to practice when you are trying to learn coding and understanding it better through hands-on really. gosh so I have now encountered recursive function and I'm really confused on what it is and what's the use of it because I haven't seen it before I haven't read anything about it before and it seems advanced for me so I have um, research on it on internet and I have different articles about it recursion versus looping in Python so I am just reading more into it so I could understand it more and if I don't get it after reading all of this, I'm, I will just probably come back to it when I encounter a need for doing it instead of like being stuck. I really wanted to finish the chapter, but at least I have an idea on what it is. So if I encounter it next time, I would know at least what it is and just probably research on it more. So this concludes the video for today, study session with me studying Python and this is week 2. I'm sorry if I don't have a lot of hands-on problems that I showed you today because I had to focus on learning really the foundation of the concepts before I get to the hands-on part. But hopefully next week, I have finished all of the theory and all of the concepts and I would do the exercises more uh, next week. So I hope you enjoyed watching the video and I hope you learned something from it if you are also studying Python and I hope to see you on my next video. Thank you so much.